Hi everyone, this is Dyeworm and I welcome you to a new episode in my Skyrim mod series. Today I have for you a really cool mod. It's Enchanted Arsenal by Ego Carib. Not sure I pronounced that correctly, but there you go. Enchanted Arsenal is a revolutionary mod, I have to say. It combines pretty much all popular enchantment mods out there and places them in a single mod. It does however much more than that and I will show you what it does exactly. First of all you can see me here dual wielding two weapons with a frost enchantment. They are the vanilla enchantments. If you open the MCM menu and go to the Enchanted Arsenal tab, there are a few options for you to choose. If you choose Simple, you can basically pick a mod for every type of enchantment. I pick Frost by Vish here, for example. After that, all you have to do is sheath and draw your weapons and the new enchantment will be visible. We'll do it once more with Darkman 24th mod for frost enchantments. That's pretty easy, right? You can also go to the advanced tab and create your own enchantments, using the models and effects of the included mods. Here's where this mod will really blow you away. So let's go to the advancement tab and pick frost. You can load a preset first, which I'm doing here, or just start from scratch. So I pick energized from Dorn, and as a result you will see that all the other settings change as well. The hit shader, hit art, etc. You can however also make a custom enchantment. For the enchant shader, which is the pattern you will see on your weapon, I pick smoke. The enchant art, the 3D animated effect, will be damaging blue. You can sort individual weapons if you want, but I don't. The hit shader, which determines the glow on enemies' bodies when they get hit, I make blue. The hit art, a 3D animated effect on enemies' bodies, will be frenzy. The impact art, which are decals, like blood, will be Ice Storm. The projectile setting doesn't really work for melee weapons and the lingering effects determines how long the enchantment effects will be visible. Sheath and draw and there you go. This is what it looks like on enemies. The frenzy effect is blue, which is really noticeable and really pretty awesome I think. You can experiment with this as much as you like and even save your settings. See the description page for more details. To conclude, I will show you two more enchantments, a custom fire enchantment and a custom sanctify enchantment. For now, thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video, endorse the mod if you like it and I'm sure you will and I will see you next time. Goodbye.